All right. So for this week, we're working Soundtrap. Soundtrap is one of those programs, just like a lot of the programs we have, the more effort you put into learning the program, the better the output's going to be. This is a program that can make like professional sounding music. I've had students like start their own Spotify channels just using this program. I've had students make music that like I'd want to play in class. We've had students make music that we play like during the assemblies. You can make really cool stuff on here, but you do need to take time to learn how to use the program. Here's what we're going to do for this assignment. To complete it, you're going to post one piece of original music that you made using Soundtrap that reflects what you learned from at least three different Soundtrap tutorials. You're going to copy and paste the following sentence starters and discussion below, and you're going to fill them in to complete the assignment. So it's going to be I followed, and you're going to name the tutorial followed, talk about what you learned, do that three times. You're also going to upload an actual MP3, like an actual file that is the music that you made. Here's how you get it done. Step one is you're going to sign up using this link. You've got to use the Microsoft for Education button. Do not type your email in. Do not use a Gmail. If you do those things, I have to delete your account because I only have a certain number of licenses that apply to one for every student. And when students use their own individual emails, what happens all the time is people forget their password and start making new accounts over and over and over again, which uses up too many licenses. You've got to use the Microsoft for Education button. You're going to follow these directions in step three. This just shows you how to like launch and get into the editor for Soundtrap so you can start actually making stuff. Then you're going to follow three different tutorials of your choice from this YouTube playlist, or you can follow the ones that are already embedded on the site. When you go into the editor, tutorials are going to pop up just showing you the basics of how to use it. You can use that. If you really want to learn Soundtrap, like you want to make really quality music, do both. Follow those embedded tutorials just to get started, then head to YouTube to start learning more advanced things on Soundtrap to really level up your game. This video right here on step five shows you how to export your music as an MP3 and then how to upload it to a Canvas discussion. So that's what we've got.